Hello, this is Jess, and this is uh, day 28, January 28, 2020. Uh, where I'm at, it's been in the 40s all day and raining. Uh, just nice soaking rain all day. So, it didn't bother me any as far as my work. I work indoors, so most of the time now. Depends on the season, time of the year it is. But I work indoors, so it's okay with me if it rains or whatever. At least right now. Um, we're going to go down to the 30s um, pretty much all week. And uh, that's about it on the weather update. Uh, As 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 uh, people of the United States, um, it's okay to to love your country and to be glad you live there and all the things that happened. Unless there's stuff going on that's crooked, and then you want to you know bring it to the attention of somebody if you can. But being a nationalist. Uh, is what it's called, I would say. Um, when you put your, you know, your country over right and wrong, um, it's a dangerous place. Um, because as people, we would like to feel like we are, you know, <clears throat> right in our in our feelings and stuff of how we uh, approach um, when you get to the equation of right is wrong, wrong is right, right, you know. It generally most people have a uh, conscience um, that that tells you that um, whether you're supporting it or not, if something is right or if it's wrong. Because generally there is usually uh, no in between. And so if you're if you're right in your mind, you know, you're gonna be right, you know, no matter what anybody says, no matter you know, it don't take a whole lot to make a person change if they feel they're right on something. And a person that wants them to believe or think the way they do gets aggressive about it or whatever. It just makes that stance for the person that feels they're right, even if they're wrong, um, to never back down from it. Unfortunately, when it comes to nationalism and the love of country over um, wrongdoings of the leadership of that country, um, hence the USA I'm talking about right now. Um, it becomes dangerous because then you have to support a liar or a cheater or a, uh, just embed, you know, all the different things that a person that's not right would do. Um, especially when it comes to your security of your own country. We People say, oh, you know, whatever. So what if you did that? Well... Look around at all the other countries. You read really see stuff on the news about all the people are out protesting because the government's corrupt and it's stealing from them and and uh, it's just horrible. And here we have the opportunity to set a standard um, that you know that stuff is wrong. We have to have some kind of standards, um, especially of people that you know, are elected into running our country. I could go on this subject for a long time. I'm not near well researched as I would like to be, but I do know and I can categorize the, I'm learning how to differentiate between the nonsense and, and, and what is real. And so... I don't want to lose any friends over political bullshit, but uh, 
it's not up to me because I won't do anything. I won't become angry with somebody because they think differently. Um, but I will say what I think about it. And hopefully on the other end of that um, interaction that I might have with somebody, they'll be like me and not hold it against a person if they have a different view. Um, I'll give it more on this nationalism stuff. I sort of got sidetracked. It's tired. I mean, I'm tired. It's late. And I gotta wake up early and you know do this every day. It's called exciting, you know, times. It's it's exciting to be alive. This is Jess. Have a great evening. It is uh, Tuesday, by the way. Bye.